So Nancy Sharpen is an, is an award-winning author, keynote speaker, and trainer focused on building sustaining resilience in business and, of course, life. She brings 30 years' experience in the communications industry, along with the expertise as a CEO and celebrity speechwriter and writing coach. Now, Miss Nancy, she holds an MFA in creative nonfiction and authored the best-selling memoir, Both Sides Now, A True Story of Love Lost and Bold Living, recipient of the Colorado Book Award. Her second book, Because the Sky is Everywhere, supports grieving children and families. Steve Saunders is the Chief Communications Officer for the Westminster Public Schools, with a passion to ensure all children receive a world-class public education. Now, prior to Steve's career in education, Steve, of course, was an Emmy Award-winning television news anchor and reporter for KMGH-TV News in Denver 7 News. Nancy and Steve are both drawn to the mission of invisible disabilities via their individual shared experience, and they're both caregivers of ill spouses. And of course, parents to Nancy's twins, Rebecca and Casey, both of whom who have invisible disabilities. Ladies and gentlemen, without them, this would not be happening tonight. A big round of applause. Steve Saunders, Nancy Sharp, our gala chairs. Thank you so much. It's really a wonderful privilege to be here tonight. Um, just very briefly, I want to say that raising two children with invisible disabilities has been laden with both tremendous challenges and tremendous opportunities. For many years, I have to tell you that I felt a lot of sadness that my twins faced challenges that other children, quite frankly, didn't have. There is no manual for parenting children, as most of you know, and there's certainly no manual for parenting children with invisible disabilities. And that actually has been a big part of our struggle because their needs have continued to evolve over the years. Because life was especially daunting for us during the first few years of the twins' lives, it took time for me to accept their unique challenges. More than anything, I wanted my children to be just like other children and to feel accepted. I didn't talk about their struggles. I kept it all tucked inside. Eventually, things came to a head when my son Casey's ADHD was just too much to contain. Going to Denver Academy for middle school was a real turning point for him and for us because that's when we as a family learned to open up about his challenges, which is actually when the healing and the opportunities for growth happened. So I just want to say also that you might have seen some of the 10 students from Denver Academy who were here tonight helping with the auction in the other room and very happy that they're here. Thanks. You're going to be hearing from um, my amazing daughter, Rebecca, in just a little bit, but the only thing I'm going to say now is um, that it took even longer for me to address her disability. Again, I felt tremendous sadness about it, and it was very painful for me to speak about it. So when at last I could look people in the eye and said, yes, my daughter has cerebral palsy, it was as if the dam burst open, but in a really good and healthy way. So not surprisingly, it was only when I was able to acknowledge what was real for her and for us, this is precisely when Rebecca began to own her disability, as you will hear from her in just a little bit. So I'm really pleased to be here tonight and to support the work of the Invisible Disabilities Association, because building connection and community is everything. And so now Steve. So I come to this with a slightly different perspective. Becca, you all right over there? 
she's going to be great. Anyway, uh, many of you know this, but both Nancy and I were widowed. And so when we met and I came into Nancy and Rebecca and Casey's lives, uh, they were both uh, five years old. And Nancy told me, you know, they've got some learning challenges. But really all I ever saw was Becca's inner and outer beauty and Casey's uh, sense of humor, sense of adventure, and then both of them just so incredibly kind. But as we did get uh, through the years and they went into uh, middle school, now they're in high school about ready to graduate, you do get a sense of some of the challenges that families face going through that. And we're in a really good place, but I also am acutely aware of how many people that don't have the resources our families had, or the supports, family, cousins, or even just the awareness of where to go and where to get help, and to know that there are so many good options out there. And that's why, for me, well, one, to hear Rebecca speak tonight, but two, just to support IDA and, uh, and their work, because it's so, so very important. So thanks for letting me share some thoughts, and thank you for being here.